the 80s was kind of about destroying communities. There were families where fathers and sons both went down the mine and went to the, worked at the pit and they weren't talking to each other because of different views on strike action and, and these were not, you know, not little, these were huge divisions that in some cases have probably never healed. Russell got very involved with the miners' strike. Yeah, after the miners of 84, that was a, that was a big thing, you know, the old coal not dull. Yeah, he got a sticker on his guitar. Basically, on the day the miners' strike started, I went down to NUM, headquarters, and went up to the, the top floor of it and, and volunteered. I said, what do you want me to do? Won't you come with me to the fairground? Your head will be skinny. I said, your head is your feet. And the man at the side of me starts to look I sought shelter from the storm in a small inn by the coast. In the children, and they they, they kind of seconded me to uh, this little flying picket group, which went out at two o'clock in the morning in a minibus, and. Um, as the strike progressed, this it was, it was quite light hearted, but as it progressed, it got, it got heavier and heavier. And so there was the Nottinghamshire border, you would be stopped at the Nottinghamshire border by the Nottinghamshire constabulary, who were remarkably easy to fool. You know, and you get sort of like a dozen people, all the right, hide your black cards, take your badges off, and say, Oh, we're just going to visit our aunt. All right, on your way. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Where's your to Gedling. Sorry? Gedling colouring. Where's that? There was a time when if you're a group of group of lads in a van, you get stopped by the police. That's right, yeah. Vans on tour get stopped all the time. And the reason they were stopping you was because anybody in a in a minibus had obviously got Sheffield plates on. They they were turning people around and, and stopping people on the motorway and the police were turning people back. <laughs> Can I recommend to you that you go right back round and round about and back up the M1 in line with all your colleagues? It was very evident in the town, you know, that it was uh, a labour stronghold, you know. Workers were respected. And I remember the red flag flying over the town hall on quite a few occasions. When the carpers, they get round, the biggest flying the card at but they want weapons like the cops. Which is a bad to say deny the right to pick it on the line. So though they take another cow, they will not bring the miners down. In the summer when it first started, when you could smell, you know, the elderflowers in the air and things, and feel this very positive feeling that we can win this. This is going to make things better and, you know, Mrs Thatcher is going to get a bloody nose out of doing this. Did you enjoy that, love? I thought you would. 